What's up guys, Max here with Max Fishing, back with another video. Today we're going to be squidding out here in the Puget Sound at Les Davis Pier. I got a couple buddies of mine that didn't behind the camera. We got Ruby, we got David. They're going to be fishing with us today. We're going to see if we can get on a couple squid and we're also going to be doing a catch and cook. Yeah, on a beach. Is it going to do a catch and cook for you guys? I'm going to show you how to clean squid two different ways and my way, how I usually cook them. So I'll, guess, I'll take you guys along in this adventure. Hopefully we get something and I can make some fire content for you guys. Stay tuned. Got the fit on roof. Hey, what's up, boys? Uh, How I you got doing? This one dollar poncho. My boy Max hooked me up. Do what I'm yep, saying. Yep, yep. Uh, so this thing keeps you safe from the rain, from anything while you're fishing. What you think of it, my boy? I like you, bro. All right, all right. what's up? All right, Max. Absolute solid ten right here, guys. All Walmart all right, poncho all coming right, in clutch. All right, my boy Vaz, what, what you think? Dude, that thing's pretty fire, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got it Good on. Job. Got it on. There you go. Yes, sir. All so. right. All right, boys, oh, let's, get to squid. let's go get some squid. Get some squid yes, sir. There's one. All right, guys. First squid of the day right there. There's one. Look at that. Squid. So basically, what you want to feel for is it feels like you're hitting the bottom after you twitch it. And there's one right there, guys. That's when you yank it up. <laughs> oh, bro, did we do we double up? Did me and David double up? All right, guys. Me and David just doubled up right there. Look at that. Drop them in. That bucket, guys. It's a good. It's a good amount of spoon we got in there. Hey, we about to catch and cook, eh? Oh yeah. All right, guys. We got a good haul today. Look at that bucket in there. They they started popping off right towards the end. It was kind of cool. We were we were down on the other side of the dock, and it wasn't really tell them tell them. It wasn't really popping off. We came here, and the school came through. Everyone's catching them. Hey. All right, guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to clean one of these squid right here. Grab a good specimen for you guys to see. Look at these. This is the it's called, this is a market squid that we're catching out here. This is about the average size of these squid. Good little tasty morsel. So let me um, show you guys how to clean one. So, so what you want to look for is if you look on the squid, you'll see the bottom of it. Well, first of all, let's dispatch one. They just turn white right there. You saw that? Completely dead. Makes it easier for you guys to clean them. So right. when you look at the squid, you'll see a top side and you'll see a bottom side. You want, you want to grab the top side where it has that little ridge right there. You stick your finger and you stick it all the way down in there. And you're going to disconnect his guts from his body. Look at that. Just push it in there. And now you can pull his head out and everything comes out in one piece. Try not to break the ink sac because otherwise it's going to make a really big mess right there. Look at that. The head and everything came out in one piece. And I don't have a knife on me, but if I did, what I would like, what I would do actually is I would cut right in front of the head, right between the tentacles and the eyes. And I'm going to keep these tentacles because they're really nice. And the tentacles are actually my favorite part to eat. They're a little more crispy when you fry them up. All right, guys. So usually I would have a knife to do this, but I'm going to use a key since I don't have them. You like, you want to take it and stick it right in there. And you want to disconnect the backbone kind of from the rest of the body. So that it, you'll see right there. I just disconnected the backbone from the body. And you want to stick your finger all the way in there. Push it through. And then you want to grab this backbone piece. Let's see if I can get it. And just pull it right out. And it'll all come out in one big piece. Hopefully, sometimes they break. This one came out in one big piece, and that's the backbone. It looks like a little plastic feather. Get rid of that, we don't need it. And now, the very next step that we have is you'll find the wings. These squid have two wings on each side, and on the top part where the wings connect, you wanna take your thumb, and you wanna stick it between the two wings right there, and just kinda of stick your thumb in there and pull it up. And then you pull the wings down. <clears throat> and that brings all the skin off. You wanna clean the skin. And then, you just wanna get rid of all that skin right there. Peel it all off, peel it down, boom. Fully clean squid, wash it down, rinse it off with a little bit of water, get some water inside the squid, rinse it all off. And there you have it, one fully clean market squid, ready to eat. 
All right, guys, so this is how I like to clean the heads. Uh, you basically just take your knife, this is a little multi-tool, and you stick it right there between the eyes and the, um, the you'll feel the beak, there's a beak in there, you just kind of do a quick, oh, this knife is kind of trash, but just do a quick slice right there through them. There we go, we got that out. And now if you look in there, there's a little bit of a beak. Just squeeze that beak out, it comes out right there, look at that. That's literally a beak, it's weird, it's like a bird. And then that's basically ready to eat right there. Just throw that in some flour or whatever you want, butter, and you're good to go. All right, guys, we just got all the squid cleaned. I guess we decided to clean all of them. So let me show you uh, two different ways that I like to um, cut them up. I mean, when we're gonna cook them, we're just gonna cook them whole like this because we don't really have enough time, but I'll just show you a couple quick methods. So the first method is obviously your standard calamari rings, and these work better than on the bigger squid than the smaller ones. Uh, let me see if I can find a bigger. Uh, they're all kind of small, I guess. Let's just, let's show you with this one right here. So for calamari rings, all you do basically just cut them into, you know, just rings, basic rings like that about, cut them about an inch apart. It doesn't have to be anything crazy like that. And then that's basically your standard calamari rings. And then for the second method I like to do, which works a little bit better on these market squid from the Puget Sound, these smaller ones, I like to take the knife. And if you have scissors, scissors works too. I like to just take a knife and just cut right there, right through the squid cut right there and you just got like a nice flat piece and this is actually a little easier to clean out too you can just kind of clean out the little guts right there and that's your second way to clean them try to get something where we can put the pan on never 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 <laughs> the aki way <laughs> so we got the squid right here i'm going to show you guys how to put them in the batter we already did it around i forgot to take the video of this part but basically what i did is i cracked a couple eggs threw them in a ziploc bag and uh i have a ziploc bag here you put the flour and we throw a little bit of seasoning in there, some salt, some crushed pepper, just mix it all together and then get your bag of flour. And even if you're at home, we're doing this in a bag because we're out here, you know, but even at home, you can throw the flour in a bag and it just makes clean up a whole lot easier and just makes the whole process a whole lot easier. So I'm going to show you guys an example with just a couple squid here. So we got a squid right there and then just let's get some tentacles just for demonstration purposes. Throw them in there. Make sure you coat them all with the eggs and then take them out of the eggs throw them directly in your flour get them nice and mixed up in there coat them all up with all that flour and then after that you guys have some nice floured up squid there's the tentacles and there's the actual squid body nice and ready to go throw those in your hot oil or butter or whatever you have and um yeah some good calamari so we're gonna go ahead and throw the squid on the butter now. And I got so much smoke in my eyes. All right. It's not hot enough. Bruh. So we ended up actually having to bring the fire back up because we need to get the butter hot enough to fry these squid. I didn't realize that I'm usually just cooking on coals. So we just threw the squid on there right now. We're using a stick to mix it. We a little unprepared, but we're making it work. These squid are actually frying up really nice right now. Look at that. They're getting nice and crispy. Just gonna flip them over. We already cooked them for about two minutes on that side, so we're just gonna flip them over, cook them on this side now for about two minutes. And then we're gonna throw them on there and try them out. But they are getting really nice and crispy, so they're looking really good. So we got some squid cooking in the pan right there. Oh, the butter's burning. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, this was, we did our best with what we had, but this is what it came out with. Look at that. We got the actual squid right there, and we got some tentacles, which are my favorite part. Nice and actually really, really crispy. Let me take a bite right here. Mmm, that is so good. You can hear that crunch. Just take this, dip it in some tartar sauce, <clears throat> marinara, whatever you guys like dipping it in, and this is like, this is really good. That's what catch and cook. I was just editing the video and I realized I forgot to do the outro last night, so I'm going to just go ahead and do it right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed, and let me know if you guys like these sort of videos, these sort of outdoors cooking, not necessarily just fishing videos, but more of like doing other things, maybe camping, exploring the woods or stuff like that, because I do do this kind of stuff pretty often as well. So if you guys enjoy this kind of content, let me know and I'll take a camera along with me and I guess film it next time I go. been getting a lot of support actually pretty recently on my last video. 
getting a few subscribers so i thank you guys every single person that's been subscribing to me every single new subscriber i appreciate each and every single one of you guys individually so much uh make sure to check out some of my older videos i know they're not like the best quality they're just you know four or five six years ago whatever i was just a kid just trying to make funny youtube videos but if you guys there might there might be a video in there too that you might enjoy i find them pretty funny i still rewatch them from time to time so i think that's pretty much it thanks for watching again and uh i'll see you on the next one peace